So here we have my 1984 Olds Omega Brome. General Motors first mass produced front wheel drive transversely mounted engine and transmission vehicle. You can see it's an Omega Brome. You can also see the paint has that typical General Motors 1980s crazing going on. Very, very typical, even though this car was always garaged. And the interior is absolutely like new, including the steering wheel, which always cracked on these. This one's still nicely detailed. But one little tip, if you're trying to service these, whether it's the X cars or the A cars, which would be the Celebrity, the 6000, the Buick Century, and the Cutlass Sierra, the X cars that this would apply to would be the Omega for Oldsmobile, the Citation, the Phoenix, and the Skylark. When you pop the hood, there's the prop rod over there that you put into that little hole. And when you do that, this is how far the hood opens. So that's how far the hood opens with the normal prop rod. But you'll notice here that there actually is a hole right there. That was for a service prop rod that the dealers could use that would open the hood even more. But you could basically do the same thing if you want. And all you do is just take this prop rod out and slowly raise your hood. You may have to unplug the under hood light if you have it, but this cord is long enough, it'll reach. And just keep going, keep going, keep going. And it'll kind of bump up against the wipers there. And it's not hyper extending, it's not under tension at all. But now look, that was done purposefully for service. So if you've got one of the V6 engines in particular that have the bank of cylinders back here, I mean, it's pretty unencumbered in terms of being able to get access to the cylinders. Again, this is true for any of these X cars and the A bodies. You can open the hood so that it's perfectly vertical and gives you a lot more working room. Particularly in this car, if you want to change the distributor cap, anybody see where <clears throat> the distributor cap was? Or is this is a car that I bought and it ran kind of rough and when I bought it it had newer uh, wires on and it also had newer spark plugs but no one had changed the distributor cap and I don't think they even knew it had one because <clears throat> these wires snake around back here and I don't know if you can see it but there it is <laughs> part of the problem there it is right there, see the wires? That's the distributor cap. So this makes it a lot easier to access that distributor cap. What I do is I undo this motor mount, then this engine will rock forward. You can also kind of take it out of park and roll it a little bit and the engine will rotate. That gives you more working room back here. And then all you have to do to redo the strap is I just take a pry bar and pry it up against this and then the engine and pry it back and put the bolt in the motor mount. So if you're wondering how to get your distributor cap, you can't get it from the bottom. The power steering rack is down there in the transmission. It's just too crowded. You really can't get it from the top even with the air cleaner off that easily unless you open the hood all the way like I've done. And then you also undo that motor mount. But this is a great service feature that, of course, Jim didn't tell the average buyer. But, I mean, now you've got so much more working room. These also have a really cool thermostat, by the way, which is true of the Fiero, too. You just take this cap off here. I'm not going to do it because this engine's warm. But you take the cap off, and there's a thermostat that's basically on a hook. You just pull it right out, drop the new one in, put the cap back on. Super, super easy to replace. So that is the famous Iron Duke underhood and again this makes it so much easier if you got the 2.8 liter V6 or the unfortunate 3 liter V6 underhood in one of the A cars you can really service these a lot easier by the way make sure if your car's got eh, 40,000 miles 50,000 miles or more change your oxygen sensor these are a one wire oxygen sensor you'll get better fuel economy preserve your catalytic converter Really easy to change, as you can see, right in the front there. No issues. 
It's something that people often neglect when they do a tune-up. This car's only got 15,000 miles. <clears throat> I'm just going to leave it. Runs well. If you want to eliminate some stalling problems and some idle shake in drive on these Iron Dukes, one thing that you can do is, this is the throttle body here. And you can see I've, there's normally a plug right here. I have punched the plug out and then there's a little screw that you can rotate and that's the manual idle speed control. I just turn it up a little bit, about 50 RPMs. And I find, you know, sometimes these cars, the idle set so low from the factory that you turn the power steering all the way and you goose the throttle and let off of it. And sometimes they almost want to stall. Um, or you start it up and when it's warm and they stall, not all that frequently, but they do stall. And I find if I just turn that little idle screw up 50 RPMs, it eliminates the problem. So another tip if you're working on these X cars, unfortunately, one bad thing about them is the oil filter location is pretty awful to get to. You can get to it, it's right there. But it's not easy to reach up in between the steering rack and everything. And you, of course, drip oil all over. That is not a great design on these. I do find it funny. You have the overflow cap here and you got another radiator cap right there in addition to that cap. So I hope you at least get a few tips out of this. And then when you're done, you just gently pull the hood back down and you can close it. There we go. I know this is not a great car, but you know what? It gives me a lot of smiles driving it. It's a beautiful day today about 50 degrees and so I'm driving it and enjoying it and no Iron Duke video would be complete without a startup of this puttering engine Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video on servicing your X and A body General Motors vehicles. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the video thumbnails at bottom left and right for some suggestions for you.